So now things are going well. Things are going good. Work is going good. The relationship might be going good or you might be talking to someone and things are things seem to be going pretty well. And working out, you know, it got the groove of things. And so here's what ends up happening to most people. What ends up happening is most people, they start to take a step back. They start to take their foot off the gas. You got to be careful with where you're at right now in life. If you're in a position where things seem to be flowing really nice, things feel good. I'm going to tell you right now. The minute you start to take your foot off the gas, you lay off the discipline, things are going to start getting rough. You see, there's a saying that goes, we tend to win in our losing season and we tend to lose in our winning season. And when they say that, what they mean ultimately is like, when you're winning, it's like, oh man, like, let me take my foot off the gas. Let me just chill. Let me miss some workouts, miss some meals. Let me spend more time with this person. Or let me just slack off a little bit at work. I'll be fine. I don't need to do that. Like, you start to to regress. Because, see, before then, maybe you were going through a breakup. Maybe you were going through a loss of a job. Maybe you were going through a, a you weren't feeling too good about yourself. Maybe you were eating so much shit or you're drinking too much. And, like, you're like, you know, I need to change my life. Maybe you had a one night at drinking and it really fucked you up mentally. So you're like, you know what, I'm done drinking. And you started getting on this path. So what ended up happening is you felt a lot of pain at one point and you said, I'm done. And you start hitting the ground running, 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 foot straight on the fucking gas pedal. And it got you to where you are now. Shit, man. Congrats. No, seriously, I'm actually proud of you. (laughs) Because like, I, I get it. It can be very tough when you're going through a lot of tough shit and it forces you to change. And that's the most beautiful thing about life. Like we, life will throw some things at us that forces us to change, forces us to improve. And we don't want to, we don't want it. We don't want to go through a breakup. We don't want to lose our job. We don't want to, you know, look in the mirror and see that we're fucking out of shape. We don't want any of that, right? But sometimes life gives us that kick in the ass and it pushes us forward. So we're really thankful for that. The thing is, you get to a point where now things are good. You finally get yourself out of it. You lost some weight, job is doing good. Again, back to feeling everything is good. The biggest mistake that you can make is thinking that everything is good and you don't need to do what you, you don't need to keep up the work. And in your head's like, why? Like, I feel good. Let me give you a great scenario. Last night, uh, yesterday, I hung out with this girl. I like her, great girl. We had a phenomenal day. I worked till about like two, about 1 p.m., all right? I woke up at three, I worked till like 1 p.m. And then we went and we spent some time at this trail. We walked, we talked, we ate some, uh, some almond butter jam uh, and jam uh, sandwiches. Having a great time. And she came back to, to, to here. We hung out for another three, four hours. And then she, she, she was about to go home. And she's like, I'm going to go study. I might take like a Celsius and go study. And I thought to myself, you're about to go study? And Celsius, like, I'm like and she wakes up early, like 4 o'clock in the morning. I wake up 3. Sometimes she'll wake up at 3.30. So she's an early riser. And she said, so yeah, I'm going to go do something. I'm going to go do that. And I thought to myself, okay, go do that. And I, I'm tired at this point. Like, I'm tired. Like, she took a nap at one point. You know, like, when we were here, she took a nap. And I'm like, whatever. I, I went back to work, did some calls. And as she left, I thought to myself, I sat on that couch. And I thought to myself, man, I, I, I can go to sleep now. It's about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Um, I could use the rest. You know, we, I wasn't going all day. So I'm like... But she's about to go and study while I'm over here just going to go and uh, just go to sleep. And I thought to myself, man, I, I was, it was a great day, but I started getting a little comfortable. Everything, there's no reason for me to do. There's no reason for me to get a second. I already worked out once. There's no reason to get a second workout. And I'm like, ah, you know, I can just go to bed, like shower. You need some rest. You know, like you had a good day. You don't have to work out. So all of these comfortabilities, man, you're feeling good, like, you, she, you had a great day with her. I had a phenomenal day with her. So I felt so good. And I thought to myself, this is the trap that most people fall into. The trap of things feel good. So I don't, why am I going to put myself through something very painful at the moment? Why am I going to knock out 250 burpees when I, I worked out already? I ate my meals. I hung out with her. I had a great day. Let me just go get some rest. And I said to myself, no, man, 
first and foremost, she's going back home not to sleep. She's going back home to study. And I'm just going to go to bed. First, I'm, there's no way she's going to outwork me. It's just not how it's going to work. And so that was a little nice little push, a little nice little motivation she gave me. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in some work too. So I said, ah. Uh. And also, like, Alex, do not get comfortable because this is what happens. Like, you had a good day. Things are good. Work is good. That's good. So everything seems to be going pretty well, smooth. I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you put your foot back on that gas and you keep disciplining yourself. You keep making things harder. So, you know, I, I had to hit that floor. I hit that floor, 250 burpees. I went on TikTok Live, motivated some people. And so I, I put in that work. I said, fuck me, man. Fuck me. I need, to, I need to go motivate some other people. Because again, the minute we start to take a step off, foot off our gas, life becomes harder. Because think about what got you to where you are now. It was the consistent grind. It was a consistent health. It was a consistent foot on the gas, discipline, discipline, showing up to the gym, not missing, showing up to the gym, not missing, eating your meals, waking up early. Like, and you might be asking, oh, Alex, do we have to do that forever? Well, what, what's the alternative? What's, what's the alternative? Just take your foot out, guys, and chill and relax. Oh, it's okay to chill and relax a little bit, Alex, but you not get it. Life will still find a way to fuck you at one point if you keep if you keep your foot off the gas. It's not me, my friend. It's just life in general. Like, that's just how life is. So does that mean we're going to always have to be grinding? I'm like, well, what's the problem of doing something that's really tough to feel good about yourself? I feel good about myself waking up at three. I feel good about myself hitting this workout. I feel good eating my meals. I feel good about myself showing up every day, knowing that if I have a good partner, have a good girlfriend, wife, whatever it might be, they can count on me. So you might be in a situation where things are very good. Mama, you still need to be counted on. You still need to put in the work because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, pain will always come. Like I always think about it this way. My mother, my father, my brother, my grandma, like I, those are my closest family. And I know they're going to die. And that's just part of life. And so I know that it's going to be tough. My dog, I knew he's going to pass away. So I'm like, I'm just prepping, man. I, I face the reality of one day is going to be their last day. And I don't know when. And all I can do is prepare, prepare, prepare for the pain and anguish and, and grief that's going to come with that. So I'm telling you, my friend. And if you're going through it right now and you're pushing hard, keep pushing hard. Keep stepping on that gas because that is creating a man that's going to be able to make, be able to reach a point where things are, are smooth. Not every, everything can't be rough all the time because life it has to have polarities. You have to have really rough to have really good. You have to have really good to have really rough. You know, so whatever stage you're in, never take your foot off the gas. When I mean foot off the gas, never stop being disciplined. Never stop doing the things that are very difficult. The wake up time, the eating. I, I, stay, stay on your diet. I mean, I've been at this for 17 years. I still stay on my diet. I'll, I'll fall off here and there. Yesterday I had pe uh, almond butter with some jelly, but it, 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 five sandwiches. What's going to do that for my life? Nothing crazy. You know, but I'll discipline myself today. Discipline myself today. Stay strict on my diet today. You know, so recognize if you are getting a little too comfortable taking your foot off the gas and step back on it discipline yourself discipline yourself conduct yourself as a man or a woman that wants to be disciplined conduct yourself that way it's like i don't care what i have i want to know that at the end of the day i did things that made me practice discipline consistency dedication commitment and make sure i practice those today and i didn't just throw it to the side all right with that being said much fucking love let's go after it